I know everyone preaches getting to the gym is the best thing for you and you know I always heard that and now I can say I'm a, I'm a firm believer in it. I can't believe it's been six months since surgery and I'm happy with how wonderful I feel. Hey Jeff. Hello, how are Hi. you? How's it going? Good. Good. Thanks for coming. So, you're six months out? Six months today, yeah. And how much have you lost? Uh, over 100 pounds. I think it's about 107 Jammin. pounds. Jammin. Yeah. A couple weeks ago, I went over the 100 pound loss marker and they told me today that my BMI went under 35. So that was, that was nice to hear that, that I've reached that goal as well. Jeff Keen is, is six months out from a sleeve gastrectomy. He's had his stomach taken from a cantaloupe down to a banana. And with that, he can comfortably eat smaller portions. At six months, Jeff is developing habits that he's gonna probably have for the rest of his life. Exercise has played a big role in me getting to this point. I just feel a lot better, a lot stronger, and I don't think I'd be where I am right now without this piece of it. We know if we can get people exercising before surgery, they'll do better the day of surgery and they'll do better after surgery. And Jeff was one of those guys. Before I had surgery, I was kind of off and on at the gym, but I didn't have the, the nutrition part of it down, and I think that's that's also played a big role in where I am now. Eating the right foods, making sure that I don't overeat, and then coming here and working out. The day of surgery, you come out of anesthesia and you're really groggy and tired, and then each day it just got, it got easier and easier to do more and more. I went to my two-week post-op appointment at the hospital, and Dr. Jones cleared me for activity, which allowed me to go to the gym, and begin my journey. We always recommend patients to start slow. In the beginning, it may be just coming into the gym and walking or riding the bike for five, 10 minutes, but you're coming in and you can control that. I was kind of just concerned how much lifting I could do, and I didn't want to do any damage that was gonna require me to have more surgery down the road. So I started off easy with the elliptical, 30, 45 minutes a day, depending upon how I felt, what my energy level was at, and then worked into the weightlifting probably about two weeks after that. It'd be really helpful to schedule exercise in a computer, in your calendar, even if you just write it on your refrigerator. Having a guaranteed schedule every week to come to the gym, I feel is what's really kept me on track. Awesome. 122 of 68. Oh, wow, nice. So you probably don't need the elliptical much longer. Yeah. I know the health benefits are immense. I mean, they said initially for the first 10%, of just body weight that I lost, decreased diabetes, heart disease immensely, and the risk factors for those. If you take that 100 pounds off your knees and your back, your knees and back are gonna feel better. If you get that 100 pounds off your gut, your heart's gonna function better, your breathing's gonna get better. Aches and pains that I had before that I always attributed to age and getting older have, have gone away, and I don't, have, I don't feel any of that pain anymore since the weight has gone away. Life is a lot easier being down over 100 pounds. I'm looking to complete a half marathon in November. I know six months ago, this wasn't even a blip on my radar, and now I feel like I'll be able to do this without any difficulty and, and have that sense of accomplishment. I'm not worried about Jeff. Jeff's gonna do great. He uh, has great habits. He's coming in for follow-ups. He's, he's talking to the nutritionist. He has a great support structure at home. I think it'll be fun to continue to watch him over the next six months. Keeping me motivated is how I feel. You know, I, I wake up each day feeling great and I want to keep that feeling going, that sense of accomplishment. I did something for me and made myself a better person and a stronger person.